Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. Yeah, Gala is currently following the structure and has reversed in our trend reversal area in this support area around the 50% retracement level. Um, however, so far I can only identify a three wave move to the upside, which keeps a more bearish perspective alive and indicates that, yeah, we could dip back into the support area and actually make a lower low. However, because of the extension that we have seen and also the break above this previous X wave high, which formed on the 10th, 11th of January, um, I assume that we are heading now into the direction of breakout. But I think I already mentioned that in the last video. What I've done, however, and that's also why we have to cover it in a video and I want to update you. I have adjusted the micro support area that I'm tracking in parallel with this low club trend because only if that micro support area is breaking now, we have to switch to a more bearish perspective. So um, to make that clear, the idea is that Gala is likely in a corrective rally anyway. So we're dealing here with an A wave, which topped most likely in December, around the 26th of December. A wave, then a B wave pullback. And this move up now could be a C wave and this C wave would be a five wave move. If we measure the length of the A wave, then we can get a rough idea of the target for the C wave. Um, it typically would be the 100% extension level. So we're talking about 5.8 cents. That should be minimum. Yeah, but that shouldn't, shouldn't be anything new as well. So I'm just moving the, the other waves across because price has moved on a little bit. But yeah, that's sort of roughly how it should look like. And then, once we have this ABC structure complete, which should be a, a three wave move, well, the C wave itself should be five waves. But once we have this structure complete, we have to watch for a B wave pullback again, because this ABC structure, either it could already be a more substantial top, and we could then see new bear market lows from there, which if it continues to be a bullish market, seems not very likely. So that's why I added already this A and B there, basically to indicate that this initial ABC structure, which started in October, um, and it's probably not finished yet, that this ABC structure could be part of a much larger ABC. So that ABC is just the A wave, we then see a larger degree B wave, and then we could still get a C wave to the upside. So there is still considerable upside possible, and that's also what I'm watching for and have been watching for since October. Yeah, I am short-term bullish on Gala and have been since, yeah, as I said, end of October. I think at the time we had a breakout somewhere here. I think from this price region around um, 1.6 cents or so, 1.7 cents. Um, but yeah, I mean, what is this? So the idea is we had the pullback after an A-wave top formed. The, the pullback was just a WXY structure in wave B. And the move up could now be wave C, as I said. Now that's a five wave move. So the way this goes, it seems like this is now wave one of wave C. And in wave one, we should ideally get five waves. At the moment, I can only see three. Yeah, um, I've adjusted the micro support area accordingly um, to basically yeah, account for the new price high that formed after the last video. And again, I still don't have confirmation a top is in place. I still don't have in them confirmation. However, it's quite interesting. That third wave reached now the 2.618 extension. That is, to be honest, really, really a strong um, extension. I mean, is it, I mean, could I be wrong? You know, could I, could I be wrong? And maybe the third wave, you know, top there. And we had the wave four pullback. But that is just not reliable because look at it. I mean, this is just too shallow for a fourth wave that's reliable. So I'd rather put it here. And then we have five waves up. If after any pullback, the market can hold 2.4 cents. Yeah. So technically speaking, important support for a wave four starts at 38.2 retracement at that level. That's at 2.6 cents. Then we also have the 50% FIP level, which is at 2.5 cents. So yeah, any pullback into this region absolutely has to be expected. But at the time of recording this video, there's absolutely no indication that Gala has completed its wave five of one. Um, so we have to remain patient, okay? And the trend is up. 
until we get a first indication. So I will have to move the support area with the price higher. But please be aware that the support area does only represent the current risk because you can basically only know that below 2.4 cents, which is that golden ratio level, something is changing in this chart. Really only then. Um, so we have to remain patient and I'm leaning towards the upside because of the extension to the upside, how strong it was. And also because this third wave reached the ideal structure targets you know, for the third wave, I can work with that micro support area now and ideally it stops the price from breaking through once a pullback starts. And then the fifth wave that you see there, wave five of one, should still stretch a little higher than the top of the third wave. So we could add maybe the 300% extension level there. Um, where are you? Where are you here? And that is at 3.2 cents basically. Yeah? So I typically, I'm typically, typically looking at like one or maybe two more highs on the FIB ladder uh, compared to the previous one when we talk about the wave five. But let's first see if um, it can still push a little higher in wave three, which seems likely given that there is absolutely no, no indication of a pullback. Um, yeah, and what I cannot rule out, of course, you know, I cannot rule out that it might do the C wave without any significant pullbacks. It's just that against that level, we focus on higher. There's no guarantee it will ever go into this support area. Yeah, That's very relevant, especially in bullish markets in crypto. Sometimes we only see extremely shallow pullbacks. I can only highlight this is a support area. We have to give it a space, but does it really go into this support area? That's something only the market will decide. The bottom line is to understand it just as a support area. And against that, we can focus on higher. That's my update about Gala. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.